Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a blitz that is very good in college football 25 uh, that I've been running for a while now, and I can vouch it's very effective. Now, I'm not giving out a complete breakdown of my defense right now because we'd be here a lot longer. I'm just giving you guys a little uh, breakdown of this blitz that I do like to run. Uh, the defensive playbook I'm in is the Oregon playbook. Uh, you can just run any playbook that has 3-4 over. That's the formation we're going to be in. So for the play that we're going to be looking at over in 3-4 over is going to be this play right there in the middle. Sting pitch. It's a man-to-man -man play. It's a cover zero play i'm gonna show you guys how i like to set it up and then at the end of the video i'll show you guys also um how my lineup looks like in ultimate team so you guys can like see where you want to put your players and stuff uh if you don't want to have to make substitutions i do make a few substitutions to where i put guys in but for some of you guys you might not feel like doing that so all right so we're in a practice field i'm gonna show you guys how i like to set this thing up it's pretty simple um there's not really a lot there's not a whole lot to it um i will say this this uh play is very effective when guys are trying to run like if they come out empty if they're coming out and spread really anything where they're putting everybody on a route so let's say they come out in bunch or something like that but they're putting the tight end on a the route they're putting the running back on a route if they're ever if there's everyone's going out wide it's going to come in free and, you know and even if they block the running back um this can still come in because you know the running back logic is always not the best so he'll miss the guy coming in free now this is not a play that i run every single play because you don't want to get too predictable in what you're doing unless like like i said unless you're coming out and like spread and you're coming out and empty then yes i'm running this every single play let's go ahead and get to the adjustments though because i know you guys are waiting for that uh so how i like to set this up is uh uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh we're going to we got to shade our corner so what we're going to do is you got to hit y and then you want to flick uh the right stick up where it says over top first you want to shade your corners over top and then what you want to do is you want to hit y and you want to shade them to the outside uh, what this is going to do is it's going to give them um, outside leverage and you won't really have to worry about routes, um, you know, corner routes and stuff like that. All you're going to have to do is use your, the middle with your user, which makes your whole life a whole lot easier. Now, there might be times where sometimes you might you might have to do the opposite, uh, opposite shade up and shade to the inside, depending on you know what you're going against and all that stuff and sometimes you might have to shade down and shade to the outside which you know when you're getting really aggressive it's like a fourth and short or you know third and short and stuff like that when you're getting really aggressive so all that's really just situational but um a lot of times yeah we're shading up shading to the outside in normal down in situations next thing we're going to do is we're going to spread our d-line so you're going to want to hit left on the d-pad and then you're going to want to hit up on the left stick so you see how they're uh spread now now you want to crash your D line to the outside. So what I mean by that is you're basically you're changing the rush lanes of your D lineman. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit left again on the D pad, and this time you're going to hit right, the right stick up where it says slant outside, and now it changes where they're uh, where they're kind of rushing with their gap lanes and stuff. Um, and then next, with your user, what you want to do is you want to get him, you want to get pretty much right over top of the ball, uh, right where the center's at. You want to get right there with your user and. What you want to do right before the ball snapped is you kind of want to engage just a little bit with that center to the point where it kind of distracts him and you'll get um some kind of a free rusher now you can see um in this formation that the offense is in it's kind of like a it's like a trips so it's also kind of like a spread in a way because you got everybody out wide you got one running back so this is the default way that i would set this up but like i said since they're in kind of like a spread you see how um you got the running back in the backfield you don't know if he's blocking you don't know if he's going on a route so a couple of different things i like to do sometimes is sometimes what i might do the guy that's manned up on the running back i might put him on like a little inside third just so it makes my life easier if i know the running back's being blocked or if i know the running back's being blocked then i'll just blitz this guy as well and then i'll set it up like this and then right before the ball snapped i'll get out the way of that guy blitzing so i don't really get his way but uh the running back is actually going to be on a route so you're going to want to uh leave him and double him uh, on this play i have picked and also don't forget do not forget to pass commit as well rb and then you want to hit right stick up uh for guest play pass commit that's just going to make it to where your pass rush is even better so then when uh the offense snaps the ball as you can see, Javon Curse comes in free, and it's a loss of down on the play. Of course, you know the AI is going to get it right out. And your job, really, with your user is you want to kind of you want to float around the middle of the field. You know, for example, let's say on that, uh, the left side of the field, you see you got their solo receiver. They might if you if you notice he's audible on him, he might be trying to put him on a quick slant, get over there, try to jump that uh, number number seven right here, Restrepo. Uh, you want you might want to watch him for a quick quick inside plays because that's really all they're going to have time to do. Um, so you just you float around the middle. 
if you have a good user then you're gonna you're gonna like this a lot because um you know be, being able to bait routes and all that stuff it's uh it's kind of what it's all about that's pretty much the basics of the play i'm not gonna sit there and give you a whole breakdown of my defense because there's a lot more to my defense that i do run uh but that's just kind of the basics if you're trying to you know get pressure on the quarterback and you know all that stuff this should definitely help you out for anyone that's wondering how your lineup should look um basically how this thing works is your right outside linebacker and your left outside linebackers those are your edge rushers in this three four now i don't actually use bistain as my edge rusher like i said i substitute guys around so i actually sub him in the box uh where that chris paul's act and i use sean dolik and wesley bistain as my um two inside backers i actually use brian arakpo as my other uh right outside linebacker i'll sub him in there but like i said if you don't guys don't want to do all those subs then the stock lineup would be both your right outside linebackers your edge rushers um, your D tackle one now would be the guy that lines up right over top the center and then your left end and your right end those would be the guys that line up over the guard so if you don't want to make any substitutions I do it just because um, you know, there's certain players that I want to use for my team uh, and I also got to be careful because I got to keep my 50 out of 50 theme team so if you guys got any questions about this setup or just anything on defense in general uh, you guys can let me know down in the comments I do stream over on Twitch as well uh, playing some college football 25 I try to play it on there uh, as much as I can so if you guys want to check it uh, check that out the link that's down in the description you guys go ahead and drop a follow if this video did help you man drop a like and if you uh, are not subbed to the channel and you want to see more college football 25 content then hit that sub button we got a lot more content on the way that's all i got for you guys today man see y'all in the next one